Now then, and welcome back. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, welcome back to the uh, reincarnation of Hobo Carpet Bogs. Um, yeah, I've, uh, it's been a while because I, I, I lost the love that I had with fishing. Um, mainly due to my own uh, insecurities really and, and the fact that you know, I was fishing waters that I should have been catching on and I wasn't. Um, three lakes kicked my ass a bit, had a couple of nice fish but everyone else seemed to bag up and I was just, you know, just wasn't happening for me. So, <clears throat> um, last year I joined, a, joined another lake, probably the biggest, biggest regret that that was, but hey, water under bridge, that's done, that's done. And then uh, I had a couple of guest sessions on, on the lake that I've got a ticket for now this year. And uh, this is the Lakewood Carp Syndicate. Um, yeah, stunning water. Absolutely stunning water. And as it has been this year with COVID, you know, we've not been able to get out and fish. I did one night, the night after a work party. I was utterly shattered. Um, and it was bitterly cold, obviously didn't fruit anything on that session. Um, but since lockdown has restricted, I was able to come for a couple of days, came down with my family. <laughs> hey buddy, <laughs> what you got? Ah, secret to the success. Yeah. No, it's still there. Get in! Get in! Wow! Fishing! Uh, hey? Oh, look at him, mate. Oh, can you see? You can come say hello to the camera, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it was, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well happy with that. Just down for a day session with the family. Oh. Tell everyone how it's done, mate. Quite a big, big brain. Yeah. Uh. You know, we did a work party as well. Um, yeah, just loved it, and now. I'm on what I'm going to class as my overnight is. So I work four on, four off, two days, two nights. And I've just finished my second day shift. So tomorrow is my night shift. And um, my idea is I'm always knackered. I don't know about you. I'm always knackered after, a, after a, a, a night on the bank. So I'll get home tomorrow about lunchtime and then get my head down for a few hours before work. Well, that's the plan anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. It's about quarter past nine now. My three rigs out on the money and I've seen fish around. Um, my right hand... Oh. 
on my right hand and middle rod I've got uh, big beds, well big beds, about a kilo and a half of S7 12 millis on each of them and then on the left hand rod um, which is fished right tight up to some reeds in a nice clear spot that's uh, Monster Particles hem uh, maize uh, which is cooked in the Himalayan rock salt and black tigers as well. Jules is going to kill me for that. But I fish all three rods on. But I want to give that kind of thing a go. I want to give it see which is working, which works. Um, I also think there's some nice tension here. Would mind a tench to, or two. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and that's got a PB pop up over the top of that, you know, hemp, uh, maize. Why do I keep saying hemp? I don't know. Maize, yellow, yellow pop up. And then I've got uh, white milky malt over one and an S7 half tone pop up on the other. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, them black winged gulls are back. Oh, big swirls, big swirls past the spot. Lovely. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to tuck into my chicken burgers, have my cup of tea, watch the water, go to bed. Um, yeah, and see you in the morning. morning as well. Uh, had a couple through the night. Um, unfortunately lost, felt like a better fish. Well it was a better take. Usually you get a sort of take off a better fish in here. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. Well chuffed. Um, about three hours left now. Got to be off for ten. According to the new rules. So it's about nearly seven now. I managed to get a whole two hours sleep. So yeah, been good. 
enjoyed it. Um, yeah, both them fish came off my right hand rod, which is uh, a small <coughs> sort of um, Elliot elbow hinge rig boom section of uh, 25 pound skin link and um, the sort of hinge chod section which was a real short section of chod link and I fished that on um, a size Bling! I fished that on a size 4 twister just a standard twister um, I watched a video by Kevin Nash years ago we made chod rig using a standard hook. I think this was before Nash did the twister chods and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's how I've tied them for a while now. So, yeah. And with, that was with the little pink um, a seven half toe. Yeah, well chuffed. Um, so I've redone my middle rod this morning because I just could not touch on that rod um, and that was had uh, a white 12mm milky malt on it so I've switched that on to a pink um, S7 oh well not a few hours I've seen some more fish I put a little bit of bait out it was it was deathly quiet um, and I put a couple more pouches a, a 7 out and the fish have moved back in on it, so definitely think they respond. They respond well to bait on here, which is good. Yeah. Right, time for a cuppa. Well, <sighs> oh yeah. Nailed in the bottom lip. I'll take that. It is literally 10 o'clock, maybe 5 to. And I was wondering why the hell my middle rod hasn't gone. Um, so, took off the pink S7 that I'd put on and switched it to an SLK food bait. Pop up and this. Is the prize. There we go. Oh, there we go. Check out that for a beautiful common. Mid double, I would say. Well chuffed. Really, really chuffed with that fish. What a way to end today. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.